Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Saturday afternoon, and it is a gorgeous day outside. We're almost at 80 degrees, so don't want it too hot, but I'm not going to complain, or we're not going to complain because we've been asking for nice weather, so here it is. All right, so we are in the garage right now. I have a grocery haul for you today. Uh, we'll be uh, grilling out later. So let me show you what we got. Alrighty, so let's uh, start going over what we got here. And first off, uh, I bought these two. These are 15 packs of Coke, Coca-Cola, 16.9 uh, ounce bottles. So big price difference in, in uh, soda here is normally we get Pepsi products, but we do like Coca-Cola as well. Pepsi products, same size bottles, were three six-pack bottles for $11. So that's 18 bottles for $11. There is 15 in each pack here, so that's 30 bottles for $12. So a dollar more, but 30 bottles versus 18 bottles for $11. So, so that was not a hard decision. <laughs> And Glenn said he was kind of getting Pepsi'd out, so here's Coke. <laughs> so I got four pieces of bakery. Now here's the problem when you go to the store. Uh, we haven't eaten, and I was super starving, so everything looked good. So I got four pieces of bakery. Uh, this is a lemon. Uh, let's see what it is. Lemon whippy bar cake with fresh strawberries. So we're going to try that. So now that it's nice outside, and let me tell you why, um, I'll probably end up buying more uh, desserts like this, is it's very nice outside, and we spend mostly all of our time outside, so I don't want to be spending a whole lot of time in the house making desserts or whatever. Uh, we grill out a lot, I'll do slow cooker meals, I might do quick desserts, or if I get up early enough, bake some cookies. Um, but I don't plan on spending a whole lot of time in the house on nice days. So there it is. All right, so got some cat food. Uh, this is some German potato salad for Glenn. He likes that. I got some bacon. I'm thinking of making some breakfast burritos in the morning. And I got this uh, reduced... This is a T-bone steak. Glenn likes T-bone. Again, I'm not much of a steak person. So we're going to grill out today, and he's going to have his steak. And I am going to have my shrimp, bag of uh, jumbo shrimp. Again, this is going to be a couple times worth of meals here. And uh, I got a chuck roast. So, And uh, we're going to grill out today and tomorrow. And then Monday, I'm going to make either a pot roast or a beef stew. If I make a beef stew, uh, this is going to get diced up in cubes, so the chuck roast. So, all right, again, jumbo shrimp. Got two very large cucumbers, a uh, five-pound bag of potatoes. Uh, it's going to be some for the breakfast burrito, some for the uh, stew or the pot roast, uh, as well as the carrots. Got two packs of hamburger buns from our local meat market, and they get it from our local bakery shop. These are like super soft. I got a, a eight brats and six uh, what they call Spencer steaks. They're kind of like those restaurant steaks, uh, but a little thicker. And then I also got a pack of summer sausage, Johnsonville, and some brown Schreiger. Brown Schreiger. Brown Schreiger. Yeah, so these are for like quick lunches and things like that. So, yep, as I said, nice days are upon us. Inside the house time is going to be very minimal. We honestly can probably live in the garage during summer. So, <laughs> all right, so that is the grocery haul for us. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to Monday and a new week. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Karina. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate all of your support. So I am doing a slow cooker meal today. I'm going to do a slow cooker pot roast. 
usually I make a beef stew, but I kind of like to have a pot roast. So uh, stuff I'll be using, of course, potatoes. I've got a two and a half pound uh, chuck roast. I'm going to cut up some carrots, cut up a couple small onions. I'm going to use a can of cream of mushroom soup, a can of beef broth, and one packet of onion soup mix. So uh, basically, I'm going to take the be uh, beef broth, cream of mushroom, and the onion soup mix and mix it together. And that's going to get poured over the potatoes, carrots, onion, and uh, and the chuck roast. Okay, so I'm going to get started on cutting up the carrots and potatoes. And I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So uh, my roast here, I'm going to sear it. Well, I am searing it. So I just put some salt and pepper and uh, white stuff is flour. I just, uh, and when I put all the salt and pepper and flour, I just kind of pressed it in um, so it doesn't come off. So I did both sides with that. And the flour is just to kind of caramelize the, the coating there. So I'm going to sear this and meanwhile I'm going to continue cutting my uh, carrots and my potatoes. Okay, so I've got the roast seared now, and I had the slow cooker on low already, and I put a little bit of the beef broth in there, and the rest of the beef broth will go with the uh, onion soup mix and the cream of mushroom. So I'm going to get this in the slow cooker and start cooking it on low while I'm still cutting up the carrots and potatoes. All right, everyone. So um, I apologize for the camera work. All of my tripods are still in the truck from the camping trip, so um, I'm holding it. <laughs> so one thing I forgot to let you know I'm going to use in this uh, ingredients is uh, about a quarter cup of cornstarch, and that is so the juice can thicken. So I'll be using some cornstarch, and now I'm going to make this mixture. Basically my beef broth, the rest of it cream of mushroom, the onion soup pack, and the cornstarch. So I'm going to throw it all in here, mix it up, and then we're going to throw it over all the pot roast ingredients. Okay, stay tuned. So I have all the ingredients in here, and I just whisked it all together just to get some of those lumps of the cornstarch out. So now I'm going to pour it in my slow cooker, and I already have my potatoes, carrots, onions. I only cut one onion in there. Um, the pot roast or yeah, the chuck roast is at the bottom and now I'm going to pour this mixture over this um, Yeah, I know I have a lot of potatoes and carrots. So it's pretty full, but keep in mind everything's going to shrink So we'll see how it goes. I got it on low and I'm going to cook it on low and then I'll check it later on to see where we're at with the softness of everything and If I have to turn it up high for a little while. All right, so right now it is 10 o'clock in the morning, so let's see, uh, let's pour in our uh, mixture. Oh, again, sorry about the camera work. All right, so I'm going to have to put the camera so I can scrape all that in there. All right, and what I did is in the bowl here, in the mixing bowl, I poured in my cream of mushroom first. So that way when I pour in my beef broth, I can pour some of it in the can of cream of mushroom to get everything you can out of the can. So that's what I did. All right, so let me scrape this all in there. Okay, so um, I did put some more pepper on the whole mixture. I did not put any more salt. In the spirit of not over salting, we'll test, taste test it later on. I poured my mixture in. It doesn't look like it's real juicy. But let's give it a while and see what kind of juices um, the roast produces and see if I have to put some more juice over that. Okay, so I'm going to cover it up now and let it cook and let's see what happens. Hey everyone, so I am outside now. Uh, we're in the garage, obviously you can see. So yeah, um, it's turning out to be a nice day it started off kind of iffy uh it was foggy and it was like 50 something this morning it's supposed to get up to like 70 today um sun's shining through fairly well um, but tomorrow's supposed to be 80 degrees 
and I'm not sure about Wednesday, but then Thursday, Friday, it's going back down to 50 degrees. Now, yesterday was almost like fall or winter again. Yesterday was cold. Um, I don't remember what the temperature was, but the real feel was in the 40s. So, yeah, I had turned the heater off, the furnace in the house, but then yesterday I had to turn it back on because it got cold in the house. But yeah, it was really stormy and cold yesterday. Then it rained through the night, and now it's uh, doing what Midwest weather does. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a little afternoon right now. Um, but pot roast is going. It's getting, it's creating a lot of juice, so that's good. Um, I may have to add some more because I filled it up so much with potatoes and carrots. That's okay, we like a lot of potatoes and carrots, but I'm gonna make us some lunches now. Um, we're hungry, we didn't eat no breakfast. So I'm gonna make us a uh, summer sausage on the rolls. And just gonna put some butter on it. Glenn usually likes some horseradish mustard on it. And yeah, we're just uh, outside and hanging out in the garage, enjoying the weather we have. So. All right, uh, yeah, that's about it for now, so stay tuned. So you can see up to the backyard, nice and green, and the grass needs to be cut. <laughs> so I haven't cut it since we've been back from the camping trip, which was Thursday, and today is Monday, so it's getting longer. So I'll have to get that cut. I got some Etsy orders to do that I want to get out. So, yeah, I have things to do. But right now, we're having lunch. Glenn usually likes a little bit of horseradish mustard on his uh, summer sausage sandwich. So I'm going to put some on his. See how well these bottles work? All right, everyone, so it is time to check the roast. It is 10 after 6, so it's been 8 hours now. <laughs> so hopefully, And it's been on low all the while, so let's hope for the best. It smells delicious. If you can hear Prissy in the background meowing away. Oh, my gosh, I just picked up that meat with a wooden spoon. The meat was on the bottom. The roast was on the bottom, and it just, like, broke in half. With a wooden spoon, I can just break it in half. Oh my gosh, this smells delicious. It looks delicious. Yeah, look at this big piece of meat here. Spoon just goes right through it. Ooh, I'm going to get a fork. Oh, my finger's in the lens there. I'm going to get a fork and uh, check these potatoes and carrots. Okay, so let's check this. Oh yeah, they're soft. Potatoes actually still a little, not hard, real hard, but I suppose they're not too bad. Not too bad, but they could be softer. That's okay. Otherwise, I would say, I would call this done. 
Yeah, the carrots just, uh, the pork goes right through them. But this smells and looks delicious. I did buy some uh, uh, cinnamon raisin bread. And like when we make beef stew, we'll buy uh, raisin bread. And it, it's got cinnamon in it, so it doesn't matter what you call it. But we'll just put some butter on top and eat it with our beef stew. So I thought we'd try it with the pot roast. It's almost like a stew. But this looks delicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I'm going to go ask Glenn if he's hungry. I'm sure he is. He's in the garage. We're outside. And, of course, uh, my tripods are still out there. So, <laughs> so I told you I spend as little time as possible in the house. <laughs> so, all right. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. So um, we just had a test bowl of the pot roast and it was delicious like super good the the gravy was thick enough the potatoes were super soft I thought they were hard when I put a fork through them but they were actually really soft and the carrots were soft the meat you could see how it fell apart so yeah it was delicious so that was just a test bowl uh, we'll have our actual supper bowl later on so um, what I want to show you now is I got some friend mail. I did go to the post office today. I don't check my box that often. Um, during Christmas time, I was getting more mail, um, but I don't get as much mail now, so I don't go that often. Um, it's been a long time since I've been there. Uh, so I did receive something from Judy Griffin. Thank you so much, Judy. I, I really appreciate it. I love it. Thank you so much. And I'm going to show you what Judy sent me. Okay, so this is what Judy sent me. It's the World Encyclopedia of Birds. How awesome is that? Thank you so much, Judy. I really appreciate you uh, thinking of me and just taking the time to, to get this for me and send it to me. So thank you so much. Yeah, it's not just North American birds. I've just kind of glanced through it already. And there's birds from all over the country, or all over the world. And they give the, like, the distribution of the birds, where they, they are at, the size, the habitat, how many eggs they lay, and what kind of uh, food they eat. So that's really awesome. Thank you so much, Judy. I really appreciate that. I love it. And Judy also sent us a card, and it says, Hi, I'm thinking of you. And no, Judy, it's not strange that somebody you don't know is thinking about you because here on the channel, we're all friends. So thank you so much. All right. So with this card, Judy wrote a nice little note, um, but she also included some uh, little stickers. Look at these kitty cats. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. And then these really nice butterflies. They're so pretty. They got little uh, sticky pads on them. So you can stick them on something. And these two, the little cats, they both got sticky pads on them. So that's, that's awesome, Judy. Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. So... I just wanted to share that with everybody. All right, everyone. So uh, it's time to eat the pot roast for supper. And I'll tell you what, I uh, we did our little test bowl earlier, and it is absolutely delicious. Potatoes are super soft. Carrots are super soft. The meat just falls apart. Yeah, it is super delicious. Um, if you're interested in trying it this way, I'll go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. If you want to try it, I'm sure you all have your own recipes. But it was super simple and it's super delicious. We couldn't believe how good this turned out. It turned out good. So this is definitely a, a meal for in the future as well. So. All right, so I am going to enjoy my supper. Um, I have some cinnamon raisin bread with butter on top and a bottle of water in a, in a Coca-Cola bottle. So, 
yes, I reuse soda bottles to fill up for water. All right, so that's going to be it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I really appreciate all of your support. So remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.